Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Shabaziano with Philanthropist Family Chiropractic. Today we'll have the opportunity to demonstrate five easy stretches to relieve tension in your mid back and lower back during the course of the pregnancy. We have Ashley here today with us. She's in her third trimester. She'll be assisting us, so let's get started. So we'll start off with our first stretch today. So uh, the first one is called gentle spinal mobilization. So we'll have Ashley demonstrate that. So she's gonna go ahead and sit. Legs cross over one another. As she is maintaining good posture, she's gonna have her left hand over right foot, and then she'll be dragging her arm right behind her, and then moving back out. This is a good way, an excellent way to release the tension of your mid back, and also a gentle way of mobilizing your spinal joints to release pressure within those specific joints. You can do these several times a day. What I would recommend, 10 times on the right, 10 times on the left, and as you're doing towards the end of the stretch, hold for a second or two, get that nice pull, and then come back out again. Okay, so we'll move on to our second stretch for today. Um, the second one is called Child Pose. This is a great way to rejuvenate, relax your muscles in the back, and we'll have Ashley demonstrate that. So we'll have Ashley on, on her arms and legs. Good. As she's maintaining a good posture, she's kind of having her arms extended, good balance, and then she'll be bringing the head and the chin tucked into the belly. This is a good way to stretch the arms as well. And then she'll move back to that start position. She'll come back down. Again, as she's moving back, she wants to really be conscious of the belly. We don't want to squeeze out too long. Just come back again. And then you'll continue this several times a day. Excellent way to reduce some of the tension on your mid back, lower back, and also getting a good stretch with your arms as well. Our third stretch today will be cap cow, also known as pelvic tilt. So we'll have Ashley assist us with it and to demonstrate it. So she'll get into her start position. And then obviously she is maintaining a good posture, good straight extended arms with the legs. And then she'll move into that tucked in position. You want to bring the chin and the head flex back in, bring the mid back to the ceiling. So tuck the abdominal area to the spine and then go back out, extend the hip backwards, head into extension. And as you're going from the start position to the end of that specific segment, you wanna hold for a few seconds. That's how you'll get a good pull in. So let's demonstrate one more time. Good movement there. A lot of relief with the mid back. And also this is a really excellent way of introducing a lot of flexibility within your body and your spinal joints. Okay, so the next stretch that we're going to demonstrate is the crescent move. So what we'd like to do here, we'd like to ask Ashley to stand up. Okay, we're going to have your arms all the way up. This is a great way to fill the stretch on the side of your body, the side of your mid back. So what you want to do is just move to one side, fill the stretch on one, hold for several seconds, maintain a good posture, come back to the opposite side. Again, hold for several seconds, and then go back and forth. Very good. You want to repeat this motion for several times a day. This is a good way to open up the breathing, open up your posture, and obviously help and support that upright posture. Okay, great. So the next stretch we're going to demonstrate is a pigeon pose. This is a really good stretch um, for the hips. And usually through pregnancy, or, uh, the hips get really achy. Um, we recommend this before night, before sleep. It tends to take away that tension and achiness from the hips. So what we're going to do, Ashley's going to demonstrate, she's going to get on forearms, she's going to tuck them leg and the foot on one side underneath the belly. She's going to be on her elbows, the hands and arms are shoulder width apart. She's going to maintain a good posture and gradually she's going to pull in the head and shoulder, slide the arm upwards, hold for several seconds. This is a really good stretch for the hip and then she's going to come back to that starting position. Very good. She's going to go back. We recommend to repeat this for several times uh, through the day. Come back again. 
Excellent. So this is a really good stretch, like I said, um, for the hips. We highly recommend you as uh, through pregnancy. We get a lot of tension through the hips. Baby's moving, baby's growing. So we want to maintain a good environment for the baby's growth and development. Um, I'm Dr. Michael Shabazian with Flinches Family Chiropractic. Thanks for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you and helping you providing the best care in the community. Thank you.